I'm Wayne Cunningham here at the 2014 New York Auto Show taking a look at the Land Rover Discovery Vision concept. This is actually the the most interesting concept here at the show. Uh, Land Rover's done something pretty spectacular, not only in styling, but in technology. There's a lot of really interesting off-roading technology built into the front of this car. There's laser headlights that give you a better view out the front, and there's also infrared lasers that map the ground in front of the car. The idea behind this is the car really knows exactly what the ground's like, whether it's sandy, whether there's rocks, things like that, and it can tell the driver about obstacles. It can adjust its own four-wheel drive systems to handle that surface, and it can also suggest to the driver a specific route up a goalie or a canyon or, or some really difficult terrain. Now, under the front of this concept, there are cameras looking at the ground, and the image from those cameras is actually projected onto the windshield. This is kind of an augmented reality thing. What it shows to the driver is it makes it look like the, the entire front of the car is transparent, so they can see the ground below the front of the car, and that'll actually let them see specifically what the front tires are about to hit. That's really helpful in off-roading. Inside of this concept, Land Rover designed it to have a lot of open space. And what we're seeing in this particular configuration is they have room for seven adults in three rows of seating. But the driver can actually change that seating configuration with the touch screen. All the uh, seats are power adjustable, so they can apparently change it to six, uh, four, or five seating, just depending on what they want. Now, the styling on this concept also heralds a whole new subline of vehicles that Land Rover promises to introduce. It's a Discovery subline, they're calling it. And they're saying the next vehicle in this line will be called a Discovery Sport model. That'll come out next year. We're definitely eager to see that. It probably won't have all this laser technology on it, but it should be as capable as any Land Rover for off-road work. I'm Wynn Cunningham here at the 2014 New York Auto Show.